CataractCoach.com, adjusting the microscope red reflex. Plus, where should your skills be after 3,000 surgeries? Our guest surgeon is Dr. Morgan Micheletti from Texas. And we're starting off, and you can see it's a pretty dense cataract, a lot of posterior subcapsular changes and opacities, plus some nucleus sclerosis. Now, you certainly can use tripan and blue dye in these eyes, and that'll help with the visualization, but maybe you don't need to. So let's just see what happens here when you adjust the red reflex and really crank up the stereocoaxial illumination. So if you look there on that Purkinje image, we squirt the eye here, you see the Purkinje image, the two twin lights are one in each ocular. They're coaxial to your oculars. That's why they really enhance the red reflex. So here, viscoacid going inside the eye. The two twin lights again that you see are the coaxial ones and then the one to the side is a paraxialite. There's the incision being made, nicely nicking the limbal blood vessels. That looks great. And here we go, nice good squirt. Those are the two coaxialites now. Time for the rexus, and you have enough of a view here that you can see the capsular rexus being created. I like the forceps as well. Those are similar to the ones I use where the tips are marked off at two and a half and five millimeters. I also want to say that Dr. Micheletti here wanted to give a special thank you to one of his mentors in training when he was a resident at Emory University and at Grady Hospital, and that's Dr. Yusuf Khalifa, who he says was very instrumental in his training, and he really appreciates it now years later. And that's always the case. You know, we always really appreciate our mentors, and sometimes we don't realize how much we appreciate them until after we already leave the program. So Dr. Micheletti here has done about 3,000 cataracts. He's a young surgeon, just a few years into practice, working very hard and really making tremendous progress. So I'm showing you his whole video here, start to finish, and you can see this is really an expert technique here. No doubt about it, it's a beautiful technique, good hydrodissection. Now switching back to the normal illumination. You don't wanna operate purely with the red reflex because it'll be a little bit more challenging. You want a combination of both. So figure probe going in the eye, it looks like some sort of chopper here. And let's see. There is good density, this thing should chop easily. A horizontal chop technique, nucleus being impaled and then chopped, Psh, beautiful split right there, just like that. A little extra effort to really separate the two halves. And then now that half's gonna be cut into two quarters. Beautiful chop technique. This is a textbook. Textbook horizontal chop, beautifully done. And now rotating it and doing the same thing and nice chop completed. Now these four fragments can be removed very easily at the iris plane. And I'm sure he's using some good phaco power modulation to really minimize that energy. Notice how the eye stays in primary the whole case. You know what else is an expert about this? Look how the exposure is great. Look how the lid margins are completely draped away. How much oil is there? How much meibomium secretions do you see the tear film? None. That is really a small detail that shows you this is a very experienced surgeon. So now taking your time here to chop that nucleus and really separate those pieces. And let's see what happened to the last quadrant or last piece. That's usually when you see the true experts putting that chopper down to protect the capsule. Look just like that. Very nice. Also notice that the eye stayed in primary the whole case. He didn't zoom in, didn't zoom out, didn't change focus up, focus out. No, just keep it simple. Keep it simple. The best surgeons are the ones who keep it really simple. There's the last piece coming up. You saw the chopper in safe position and any little fragments. Look at the two-handed technique to push that piece forwards. Good pivoting. And remember, your hands are moving all kinds of places to get pivoted to the right position. There's that last piece. And chopper again, protecting the bag. And now time to come on out. Very nicely done. So again, showing in real time, this is a very tough case. This is not a simple cataract, but yet the whole case is going to be about six minutes. So certainly the level of expertise here is, is very high, and we're showing you the case in real time. So cleaning up the cortex here, nice and easy. I'm sure he's having his technician load up the lens. There's a second video we featured from uh, Dr. Micheletti. The first one was his new invention, that IOL punch, where you can punch a hole at the haptic optic junction of a single piece acrylic lens and then use that for fixation. So a little tiny nuclear fragment, push that down the port. And that was pretty clean to me. I don't think we're ready for that lens. So gonna fill the capsule bag with some viscoelastic. Dr. Micheletti said he did about 300 cataract surgeries in his residency training at Emory Hospital. A large volume of those were with, were with Dr. Yusuf Khalifa at Grady. 
And now let's see the lens going in. Single piece acrylic lens going right in the capsule bag, beautifully placed. Good job, technician, getting that lens positioned right where he wants it. This looks like uh, probably a Bauchelam Invista lens. You can see that haptic optic junction is very unique in this case. And now taking out the viscoelastic, this lens does have a different refractive uh, index and material. It takes a little bit longer to unfold, so it is still slightly curled up, but it'll eventually unfold and become perfectly planar and flat. And this is about case 3000, so now you know what to expect. If you can achieve this, you're doing very well. So in the bell curve of things, this is certainly at least one standard deviation above the mean, maybe even two standard deviations above the mean. So this is a very talented surgeon, and with 3,000 cases, I think you can achieve this too. Just keep up the good work, and like Dr. Micheletti, learn from every case. Be your own toughest critic. Don't pat yourself on the back. Finish every case and say, hey, you know what? That was good, but what could I have done better? And then one last thing I'll leave you with is sometimes you may not realize in the USA, Tripan Blue Dye, Vision Blue from Dork is $66 for one tube and one dose. And in other countries, I know it's a tiny fraction of that. Anyway, great, great video, great surgery. Thanks for watching. I enjoyed it. Thanks for watching these videos. And remember to go to cataractcoach.com and sign up for a free daily email. We'll send you an email every day with a great video like this and other surgical pearls that'll make you a better surgeon.